there are a lot of options for alternative energy for agriculture. Uh, biofuels, wind, solar. Here we have, on, on my farm, we have a solar panel that pumps water up to the top of the hill to a large tank that gravity feeds the water to, to the cows throughout the whole farm. And so we also have other applications on my farm. We have solar panels that make hot water for our dairy processing and our dairy milking facility. We also have a geothermal for heating our house. We also have some geothermal applications for uh, keeping water from freezing uh, for the cows during the winter. So the water tanks they drink out of are heated by the ground source. So we have a lot of opportunities. But one of them that I would like to talk about is wind. Uh, we should use the wind that blows over the farm to power the farm. And we should structure it so that the profits are retained by farmers. So what we could do is put mid-sized wind turbines on farms all across Iowa. And, and they should be farmer owned. And the Europeans have a really great model for how that can be done. They've used it with solar applications. But here we could use what are called feed-in tariff policies to get our, our mid-sized wind turbines on farms all over Iowa. And what that does, it requires power companies to pay a high rate of return per kilowatt hour for the first years of the lifetime of that turbine. That allows the farmer or landowner to pay for that, that machine during those initial years. Then after that, the uh, rate of pay drops down to low wholesale rates. And then the power company has cheap green energy for the lifetime of that turbine. And the farmer, meanwhile, has the energy provided for the farm and a profit center for the farmer.